Hey guys, uh, Joe was driving the four wheeler out on the field and he drove through one spot and was like, holy cow, there are a ton of bees. Sure enough, they are swarming and we're pretty sure they're swarming pretty close to the hive actually. Oh yeah. They are right, I think, yeah, right there. That's a pretty big swarm. That is gonna be a pretty hard swarm to get to, because it's not like it's on a limb or anything. But it's kinda nice that we found it that easily. A, uh, he has this fancy box that he's made. It's just a tote, just a small tote, probably like six inches tall by two feet long or so, and foot and a half wide, maybe three feet long. But he has it on like a broom handle or something, like without the broom part. That way you can attach a pole to it and lift it up in the air or just hold the handle. And it's really nice because you can hold that with one hand and you aren't trying to hold a big old box with two hands, you know, shake the limb. Cause it'll just fall off if you shake the limb. But then you dump it onto a piece of cardboard in front of a hive and it's so cool. They just march up to the hive. And um, usually you try to find the queen then. And you put her in a queen trap and put her inside the hive and then all the bees will come to the queen. And so that's usually how you do it. So hopefully we can do that. Okay. We went over to tell Papa happy birthday and we told him about the swarm and he said, yeah, it needs to get um, in a box as fast as possible because they will leave if they know of some little spot that they can call home, they will leave and that's the last thing we want. So I think he's over at the barn getting the tractor B thinks my hair looks nice. They like red. Well, I don't know if they like red and black. I think it's more so that they don't like it. Because they don't see it very well. Oh, shoot. Hopefully they aren't... No! This might not be good. They might be leaving. Yeah, I think they're leaving. Holy cow. There's not a single bee still on the tree there. Now you guys can't see it, but you can just you see tons of little guys flying around. They just left the tree! Just so you know, they are like Starting over here, they are all over to there. Wow, they are moving quickly now. They must know where they're going. They're now up here. They are in the field. Right now, they're getting closer to us, but they're just almost hovering over the road and I hope a tall vehicle doesn't come through and smash them. Papa, do you want your veil? Do you hear the noise? Paul thinks the queen has landed right here. So he is looking for the queen. With his bare hands. No veil. Not there. Gotten stung yet? No. Not a 
aggressive like this. Huh? They're not aggressive like this at all. They're just trying to find home. Some are safe. Well, that was because one that Papa already no. went through. And they don't seem to be gravitating toward that. Joe says there's more over here. Okay, you finish going through that. Tia, she's in here. Well, it's nice of them to come down on the ground. Should be it. Just a lot of a cluster and then try to take a whole bunch. Probably. They're clustering, but look at this. Look well, at but. There's still just oodles of them flying. Yeah. And if she's in there, they'll come. actually have a couple on the camera. This isn't for the faint of heart. I think if you were terrified of bees, <laughs> you would be in quite a, <laughs> you'd be in quite a predicament right now. It's a pretty big swarm. swarm. 30,000. No okay. kid.
shake the bees out of the container we captured them in. And we're going to watch them march into the hive. And I'm going to be looking for the queen. Now once... Now are they going to march the wrong direction here? No. They'll smell it. And once you dump them out and wait a couple seconds, you can go ahead and take your bee veil off. Like I say, they're very docile right now. And so what we're doing is we're looking for the queen. There she is, right? I'm not seeing her. She's on this side of the board. Up, oh, she just went underneath almost. You got a better view than I do. Yeah. Almost at the top of the board. Yep. Here she is, right here. <laughs> I'm going to put her in a cage and she's trapped in here. So if you look real close, you can see her down here at the bottom. She's in there. Now the other bees, see how they can get out? But she's too big to get out of these slots. So what I like to do is put her in here and I'm going to put her in in the hive and then in two or three days you'll take her out and the bees pretty much guaranteed to stay there so we'll put her in here between frames like this you have to be real careful not to spread it apart or else she can get out so you put that like that, and now the other bees are going to march in. So guys, I don't even have my bee veil because they're so intent on doing this. Now, look at them. Let's see here. There's a drone right here. Oh no. I lost him. Here he is. This guy right there. That's a drone. He's so much bigger. Can you tell? I can't. Oh, here he is. Oh, he doesn't like me now. It's okay, buddy. And drones don't have singers, too. But the worker bee does. Okay guys, take a look at this. I don't know if you noticed how many bees were on here. I hope you noticed. But you know, they were like covering this whole area right here. Now look at this.